hey guys welcome back to my channel this is mama double n yes 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 thank you guys for tuning in today as you can see i am going to show you how i deep fried this baby bell cheese with ham trust me guys this food is delicious yummy and very easy to prepare in less than five minutes you are done with everything don't go nowhere sit back and enjoy the full video see you then Welcome back. So as you can see, I have all the ingredients here that I'm going to use for this delicacy. So right here is my five pieces of ham. Actually, it is cooked ham. Yes, this is what I'm going to use. It is five in numbers. As you can see, it is very big and round, like it is wide. This is exactly what I need, guys. Yes, that's it. And right here I have my two eggs already beaten. Yes, that's what I need right here, two eggs. I also have my flour here. I have just a little amount of flour, yes. I also have my bread crumbs as well. This is very important for this. I have also my five pieces of mini baby bell, yes five pieces of baby bell without baby bell this recipe is like nothing this food is nothing okay let's get started so right here i'm going to start peeling off the baby bell from the cover like from the stuff yeah i know you understand me so i'm just going to continue the whole process till everything is like done So I have the fifth baby bell right here. I'm going to just open it and continue the process. So right here I have my ham, one piece of ham. So I'm going to like place the baby bell on the ham and just cut it. Yes guys, this part is very important. You have to follow the process properly so that you won't make any mistake. You have to like wrap it thoroughly so that everything will not like open later so that you can fry it like you have that good uh, shape and all that. Yes, that's the first one. So I'm just going to continue with the whole process till all the five is wrapped. So this right here is the second uh, process. Like you can use this process as well. You can just look whichever one is good for you. You can decide to use the first process or the second process. But this is just an example. I used this as an example, but I chose the first process because that one is very like um, easier and um, it has also this fine shape, you know. So I chose the first process. Yes. So guys, I'm going to tell you some of the benefits of ham. Ham has a very healthy dose of protein and iron. It is very good in vitamins. It has a lot of vitamins, guys. Vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. Vitamin B B6 is very good for the red blood cells in the body. And vitamin B12 also helps to improve the brain function and blood formation. Yes, it is just awesome. It's amazing. It has also a great source of selenium. Selenium is one of the minerals that is found in pork and it is very good for the body. It has a great importance to your body. Yes, that's it. So as you can see, I have finished um, wrapping or folding my baby bell in the ham so now i'm going to show you the next step the oil is on the fire i'm going to let it heat on a low heat so now i have my flour beaten two beaten eggs and my bread crumbs all here so i'm just going to start by dipping the cheese and ham 
in the three things that I have there in the flour, the egg, and then the breadcrumbs. Yes, guys, you have to follow the process like this so that you will have that fine taste and good shape. Yes. And I'm also going to tell you some of the benefits of egg. Egg we know is very rich in nutrients. It's high in quality protein. Egg raises also a level of good cholesterol. Eggs also is a good source of omega-3s. Eggs are also filling and help with weight loss. It's also among the best dietary source of choline. Yes, guys, trust me. All what I have here is tasted and trusted and it's amazing what they all do for the body yes i just love what they all do for the body yes so you just have to follow the process like the way i am doing it first you have to dip it in the flour and then in the beaten eggs and then on the bread crumbs yes trust me this food is delicious it's yummy it's everything you have to give it a trial and it is also very easy to prepare yes you can also cook this food for your family like my kids they loved it i was surprised because my first son is a very picky uh person like he's very picky when it comes to food but he, i was surprised that he ate the food even my husband he really don't like like all this food but he ate it it was also very delicious for him and my baby of course don't have any problem eating food that one he almost finished everything guys trust me this food is everything like give it a try and tell me come and tell me like give me the feedback leave it in the comment section and tell me how you feel about it how it tastes like so as you can see my oil is hot already so I'm going to start frying now I'm going to put all five in the pan and let it fry on each side for three minutes. Yes, but you have to let the heat not so high. Like you don't have to put it so high. You have to put it like on the average or on four so that it won't get burnt. Yes, because you don't need a high heat for this kind of food. Especially when you are frying something like this. The heat doesn't have to be that high. and as you can see three minutes is over so i'm going to just flip it aside like turn it and let it also fry on the other side for three minutes yes and if you see the food is almost ready yes it is still frying on the other side i'm going to let it fry for three minutes take a look at these guys with the breadcrumbs the breadcrumbs is so inviting and i really like that taste i like that breadcrumbs taste it is everything the taste is out of this world so as you can see my food is ready i'm going to take it out and put it on the paper so that it will drain the oil the oil will drain out so this is how i deep fried my baby bell cheese and ham guys i hope you enjoyed watching and it was super easy to follow if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to do so so i'll see you next time have a lovely day bye